Hi everyone, Tim here from timscomputerfix.net. In this video, I'm going to be doing a screen replacement on a Samsung model NP700Z5C. So this is a touchscreen model that Samsung has here. So in most cases, you know, screens, re screen replacements and laptops, pretty straightforward. This particular model from Samsung, not so much. As you'll see here, Samsung went out of their way to be a bit different when it comes to their top lid assembly. Hey, don't forget everyone, if you're not comfortable doing this repair, please feel free to ship me your laptop. You can contact me at timscomputerfix.net and I will give you instructions on how you can ship it to me and uh, we'll take care of it. It's a painless process with quick turnaround times and in most cases, quite affordable. Okay, just a quick note, I would advise to remove the battery before you start this process. Well, as you can see here, we're trying to remove the bezel from off of this laptop. And this, unlike any other computer, or most laptops that is, this bezel does not unsnap. It is actually glued to the frame. Yes, Samsung was kind enough on this model laptop to glue the bezel to the frame. So we're using a iSesme tool here which seems to be the right tool for the job. But, you know, we on the sides, you can kind of work this in and, you know, g very carefully, gingerly, just kind of work, it, work your way in. But there's no doubt that heat is definitely going to help you out with this, especially along the top and the bottom of the bezel. Now, with the heat, the one thing you want to be sure of is to not overheat this plastic. This, this is plastic, so if you get this too hot, you can definitely warp the plastic. So notice how we do here. We start off kind of a bit far away from the from the bezel, and we're, we're kind of touching it every now and then to be sure that it's not getting too hot. You do not want to like stop in one place. If you stop in one place, you, you stand a bigger chance of of getting too hot in one area and once that plastic buckles under that heat game over you're going to have to order a new bezel. So we'll work the heat back and forth, get it nice and warm and that'll help loosen that glue a little bit where we can work our tool here underneath and it makes makes the job a bit easier. So as soon as you can tell that you're having a bit more difficult moving that tool up under there, you can just add a bit more heat, heat it back up, run your tool some more. You just keep using that process all the way around. Keep in mind too that there is a camera there at the very top. So we want to be very careful when we're working up around that, obviously. But as you can see here, the heat helped get one side loose. and Now we're working on the other. And you can kind of get the feel for that heat constantly touching your way as you go. Again, being sure you're not getting too hot. Now, obviously, we don't have to worry about damaging the screen. So we're going in from the inside. The screen's already busted, so no problems there. One good thing about this is when you go to reassemble and put this bezel back on, that glue is still good and sticky. So... We don't have to use any more glue or any double-sided tape or anything to, to put this bezel back on. But you can see here how that heat definitely helps us move our tool right along. It moves this job along quite well. Okay, we're on the other side now. Thinner area, a little bit easier of an area to do. Eh. Gets, gets, the sides are definitely easier than the top and bottom. But you can see here we're just working our way down and just about have it off here. The only thing left now would be the bottom part of the bezel. Again, being as careful as you can around that camera area. Hey, it was easier for us when we got to the bottom part of the bezel is to lay the laptop up like this and we can apply our heat 
on this bottom side. Yes, this bottom side is glued down also. The entire bezel is glued on. Touching the surface, being sure we're not too hot. We can now work our tool along the bottom side of the bezel. And that's going along pretty good too. So once we have ran our tool all the way around the bezel, we can, we can now remove the bezel one last time around. Steady as she goes. There we go. We got our bezel off. Okay, with this model, there's also a plastic piece that runs along the top and bottom of the screen, and that just snaps into place. So we can take our tool here and just kind of wedge it in and kind of unsnap it carefully. That unsnaps and comes off like so. And the plastic piece on the bottom is actually just a clutch cover, so we got to remove that. We can run a plastic tool here, We're running a spudger along the inside of it here to kind of unsnap it. And then, and then from that point, once this unsnapped here on the top side, we can flip the laptop over and we can work that clutch cover from the back side. You can see it kind of coming loose here. We'll flip it over. And then you'll be able to see here on the back side how we can just kind of un finish unsnapping it. And we can flip it right back over and finish the job there removing the clutch cover. Once that's done, snap comes right off like so. There is a wire attached to this, so be a bit careful. We just flip it back kind of out of the way. Okay, not uncommon. There are four screws, one on each corner of this screen that, that holds this screen into place. So we go ahead and remove all four of those screws out the way. I think we're on the last one here. So we get these out of the way. And what was surprising to us at this point, you would think that the screen would just come right out and fall forward. But you can see here we're trying to, to pull the screen out. This screen is actually adhered to the top lid. There's more tape around the sides and bottom that are holding this screen into place. So yet more, yet more wedging and more heat. So you see here we have our spudger kind of wedged in to apply a little pressure. And now we have to carefully apply heat to the back edge, top edge of the top lid here Again, being extremely careful not to add too much heat. This is plastic. It will warp if too much heat is applied. We're being extremely careful here, being sure that we don't overheat it. But heat is definitely uh, recommended in removing the screen from the top lid. Thank you, Samsung. Okay, along with heat, we'll work our tool around as gently as we can to separate the tape from the screen. And once again, when this goes back together, we don't have to add any more tape or glue or anything to put the new screen in. It just goes right back in. Every That tape and all that is still there. Let's take a little closer look here at that tape we were talking about. You can see the black tape on the screen itself there on the top edge. There's also black tape here on the top lid, shown here. It's on the back and on the edges. They they put tape, black tape. So that's a, that's a fun little project there, a nice little addition to our to our job, haha. -ha. Anyways, I'm skipping the full reassembly. This is basically, we just put everything back together. We remove the old screen, put the new screen in, and just kind of, just kind of resealed everything up. We didn't use any extra glue, didn't use any extra tape. Everything just kind of went right back together uh, and stuck right back on, no problem. So snapped the clutch cover back on and just reapplied the, the bezel and, and everything worked out great here. 
Hey, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I'll be glad to try to reply to them. Don't forget, timscomputerfix.net is where you can find me. Thanks for watching.